I always loved to take care of people. My stepmom was a, a nurse, so when I first came here, I chose to do home care because um, home care gives me the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with my client. I'm able to do a lot for them. It's not just giving meds and walking away, but being in their lives while they go to school, being with them and their families, having fun and stuff like that. So it means a lot. started showing mm, some signs of not keeping up with the milestones of a, a newborn baby. He wasn't really sitting up on his own. He wasn't um, crawling when other babies were crawling, things like that. When he was two and a half, almost three years old, uh, is when we first noticed that he was having a seizure disorder because he had a seizure right in front of me. The, the biggest, most dramatic seizure you can imagine. It's a day I'll never forget. And we walked out of that hospital with a autistic and epileptic son. When he was first diagnosed, my wife and I tried to figure out what we can do to, to fix what's wrong. The first thing was we were going to try and fix autism, fix this, fix that. And eventually we got to a point where we said, how about we just enjoy life like he does? He doesn't care about what's happening tomorrow. He doesn't care about what happened yesterday. He cares about what's happening right now. Alan is special because... We learn to be appreciative of the common things that we can do every day that a young man like Alan can't. But he's no less happy. He no less enjoys life. To me, He's special because he loves life more than anybody that I've ever met. I think someone right now would say our world turned upside down. But in retrospect, after all these years, our world started moving straight forward on an unbelievable path. When you have a child with autism and the epileptic seizures on top of it, it's critical that you have people who are providing that home health care to be as concerned and caring as you are. And that's pretty hard to find, but it didn't take very long to figure out that Jeannie was that person. Jeannie is amazing. She does things from her heart, not because she has to. You could tell that he feels her love and her empathy. She treats him as an equal as an individual. He's not a case. Jeannie has helped Alan become more independent in a lot of ways. She knows the things that he's capable of and she knows the things that he's incapable of. So if he says, I need this, she says, you know where it is. With Alan, you have to walk with him. So it's not easy to let him be independent because that means you have to do more work because him being independent means you have to get up and you have to show him and you have to help him and you have to do this. But Jeannie's always willing to do that. She chooses the, the hard path because she knows it's better for him. When he wants to watch a certain video, we had a little dry erase board. We write the stuff on the board and I point to every one of the letters for him to say it. He says it and he types it. And at the end of the day, he gets so happy because he typed in whatever he wanted to watch. He screams, he's happy. Laughter itself is therapeutic. Like sometimes, as soon as I call him, I'm like, Alan, guess what? He goes, like, what, what, what? I learned how to blow one balloon inside the other one. And he was like, wow, <laughs> how could you do that? He loves surprises, so I find a way to give him something, something little. Alan loves having Jeannie. He just loves every minute of it. Every once in a while, when he's sitting by himself and he's quiet, you'll hear, I love you, Jeannie. And 
you know that's coming from the heart. I know Alan loves everybody, but for him to say it, it means a lot to me. He has changed me a lot. He has made me a better person. I've learned to be patient. I've learned to appreciate every little thing and just enjoy the moment. He makes my day and I love him back. You think Jeannie deserves the award of being a hero? Yeah. Why is that? Me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>